first of all here is a automatic led control circuit using light dependent resistor so let us indicate where ldr is okay so this is the ldr so in this circuit what we are doing is we are basically trying to turn on this led okay d1 um, in schematic terms we generally call it a, uh, name it as uh, LED, the ref desk will be LED, so here we are using D1. So, this LED will be turned on and off based on the light that is present. Okay, so uh, what happens is uh, basically when there is a darkness, this LED will turn on. When the light is present, this LED will turn off. That's what the circuit does. So, for this, we have a 9 volt battery which is connected uh, and uh, this is uh, this is uh, uh, powering the led through a resistor and the, uh, the other end of the led is connected to an npn transistor okay which basically is controlled by the output of the pnp transistor okay so the pnp transistor is further controlled uh, by the path through the resistor from the voltage so the base is controlled using that now this circuit if you see generally people realize it with a pot and tune it uh, for different values so right now we are considering automatic led control circuit uh, um, <coughs> under light or darkness two scenarios otherwise this can be uh, like a circuit with a pod that can be included and tried with different ldr resistances okay so for now we will we'll see how to um, <coughs> how the circuit works and uh, this uh, definitely circuit can be uh, modified further now if we if what happens is let us assume there is 12 volts so before going to this explanation okay we need to understand how the ldr behaves okay so if uh, uh, we open the ldr data sheet okay so this is the ldr uh, data sheet uh, which actually says uh, under different light conditions okay uh, the resistance varies between 400 to 9k okay Whereas in dark uh, conditions, that means there is no light, the resistance is 1 meg. So, if we further go and see the graph, which is very clear, uh, so this basically is lumens versus uh, resistance graph, and we can see as the light uh, increases, the resistance is further reducing. This resistance will reduce up to 400 ohms uh, uh, as per this data sheet. That's how it behaves. So that means uh, uh, this uh, uh, LDR that we have here, okay, uh, basically uh, will have a resistance, uh, um, a lower resistance between 400 to 9K when there is uh, different light varying conditions and uh, <clears throat> it will have uh, 1 mega ohm when uh, it is in darkness so for now let us consider 470 ohms okay which basically is in the 400 ohm range that means there is a minimal light and uh, let us try to run this okay so uh, what should happen in our circuit basically uh, when um, <coughs> The, the, the LDR resistance is 470 ohms means uh, uh, that means there is some light present this LED should be off so now if you see the current through this LED you can see it is in pico amps so that means uh, when we say this is pico amps that is basically the leakage and this means the Q1 is not on if the Q1 was on uh, this resistance this uh, transistor would have um, grounded the other end of uh, 
uh, LED to zero and they would have current flowed uh, from here to here which would be 9 minus if we consider a forward voltage drop of 1 volt for example 9 minus 1 by 47 okay that would have been the current but um, the, uh, as uh, this is off this is off because there is no voltage here there is no voltage here because this is off so that means uh, the two transistors are in off state when the light uh, minimal light is present now uh, let us consider um, a dark scenario where light is off which is 1 mega ohm right so the, the LDR resistance is 1 mega ohm now when we run this you can see the current here uh, is around 100 milliamps through this diode so the, the current is flowing through this diode because um, <coughs> the transistor is on we can see there will be definitely some voltage here when we probe you can see it is around uh, 1.2 volts uh, that is developed here okay so because of which there is a current that is flowing into this NPN transistor which is turning on and uh, uh, which actually <coughs> is glowing the LED so now uh, this can be turned into a LED array and this pro this resistance of R1 40 can be uh, tuned as per the requirement and we have we, you can test your circuit with the different LDR values and as we said you can also have a pot to adjust uh, at what light condition the the diode should turn on and also involves the power calculation of uh, uh, this series resistor based on the current like we have 100 milli ohms right uh, so if we if we take uh, <coughs> uh, around one or two watt of resistor is what uh, uh, better to use there okay and uh, uh, the npn transistor pnp you can use as per your requirement uh, because uh, the VC um, and here we are only providing battery of 9 volts right so we will have a very good uh, uh, transistors with good VC um, <coughs> voltages and uh, as we mentioned again here uh, instead of the single resistor we can also have a pot uh, so that uh, we can tune uh, uh, this particular circuit and uh, uh, this transistor to turn on uh, based on uh, um, the uh, light conditions that are present like sometimes when there is a, a slight darkness and it is not full darkness there is a minimal light you want to turn on the LED so in that case we can tune these resistor values accordingly so this is a, a simple uh, circuit uh, which uh, we can use uh, as a automatic turn on uh, turn off of uh, LED and this can be implemented at home um, like uh, as a uh, as a light in front of your uh, um, entrance doors or during night when everything is turned off uh, you can have the small LED glowing in your uh, uh, different rooms, bedrooms, kitchens um, and especially you don't want to use a battery in that case uh, you might use an adapter um, CTTC adapter to have 9 volts uh, so that uh, <coughs> there, there is a uh, flexibility of uh, uh, not uh, changing the battery every time and you can use the EC source of your home itself there are many implementations you can do with the circuit, many configurations that can be done, too, too much of tuning also can be done based on your requirement. Please post if you have any questions, please let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.